hanging down from the top of the pole is the volleyball end of it. You know, your arms are going to do this in the bunker. This is the vertical swing in the bunker. This is what we're going to talk about here later. But this is this is the pole here, and what you're doing is rotating around that. All right, so your body your body's going to be a pole there. So you don't need weight in your right foot. Your right foot is just for balance. I'll hit chip shots a lot of times with my right heel off the ground because I want to be able to swing around that one point. Now, the reason for that is because I want the club, the main objective of hitting any golf shot is to return the golf club back to where it started. Okay, if your weight's back here on a chip shot, you're going to hit behind the ball. You want your weight forward on the chip and you want to rotate around that fixed point, okay? So pretend your left leg, you, you hit the tree here and you go up the tree, don't you? Uh, it's the same exact thing. So what we're doing here, we're not, the club has to come over here. Do not allow your arms to get out away from you. The club has to stay connected with your belt buckle here, and then you can go up the tree. But it has to stay connected. This is your swing right here. Right here to right here is the, the, the rotation through goes to here, and then it goes up the tree. Okay? Up to the catcher, rotate through, hit it further, at the same length back swing, and even further. And, and on all those, you keep your stance the same. The little pitching motion of here. See, even the club came up a little bit, but it's still the same distance from my body. Okay? Five is if you're hitting a golf shot, I want you to be able to toss that ball with your body rotation straight down the fairway. I want you to see how far you can throw that golf ball. This is going to teach you how to rotate, lean over. This should not, never get any further away from me than when it started. This is what I see a lot of people doing. If this was heavy, I wouldn't be able to lift it because it's out away from my body. We want to keep this connection right here. Right here, you see how I finished? All right, so right here and right there. Okay, Mike, you do that. I'm not gonna hand it to you like that. Okay, when it goes fast, watch what happens, all right? When it goes slow, you don't have that problem. It's just like hand, if you're handing someone a tray of uh, a food. <laughs> I'm not gonna hand it to them like that. I'm just gonna hand it to them like that. That's what I want you to think. Great game, because now the better you get at stopping that ball short of the hole by flying it on the green, Mike, that is so good, it's unbelievable. I had lots of speed to it. But remember, the speed doesn't come in the transition. The speed comes in the rotation of the, of the belt buckle through the shot. You speed up with your body rotation, Mike. That's beautiful. That's another good one. Now, you hitting this with square club face or open club face? Open your club face slightly. You want this club face slightly open. Body's open, your face has to be open for the club to be square where you want to hit the ball. There you go. Use the belt. This is going to be a full vertical swing. All right. What we're doing here, finding our target line to the intended uh, hole or target. Okay. And we're going to pretend. This is a wall here. So if this is a plexiglass wall, you guys can see me. I'm gonna take my club and it's gonna go right up that wall, right down that wall, and stay on that wall this way, okay? So it's never gonna get away from that wall, all right? So it goes up, down, and up, all right? So we're forming a U shape, okay? You wanna hit two inches behind the ball, and you want to line your feet up 
well to the left of your intended target so that your feet at these two points will eventually touch. Now your ball position is going to be right on the left heel here. So you're forming an A in the sand. Okay? So here we go. We got these. This is our line here. We want the club to travel up that wall, down that wall, and then back up that wall there. All right? So here we go, right here. Up, down, and up. Okay? What you're going to notice is if you do it correctly, your divot will start here and travel right on that same line. Okay? What I see most people do is they may start here, but their line's going to go this way, isn't it? They're going to go with their feet. Remember this wall here, you have to stay on this wall. And as Serge teaches you this afternoon, he's going to be talking to you about a Ferris wheel. You may have heard that terminology before. But what you want to do is up the wall, down the wall, up the wall, and keep going. Like I just showed you a minute ago, this will assure you that the club face will never, ever turn over. This way here. When they say set up left for your target, it just means you're aligned left, but your, your target line is always up. That's correct. Your feet want to go this way. Why do you open your feet so much? To limit your amount of bo lower body movement. If my feet were square to the target, I would have a tendency to move laterally. Mm -hmm. And I would also not be able to get the club up on the backswing. The club would be going inside. Right. We want the feet. Now, another thing he's going to talk to you about this afternoon is the weight distribution on the outside of your knees. All right, when you set up in the bunker, I don't want any lower body movement whatsoever. Okay? So what I want to do is make sure the weight is on the outside of my knees. I want to reach for the golf ball with my knees. All right, so the weight's on the outside of the knees, so there's no lower body movement whatsoever. This is ultra important. The bunker shot is a arm swing. It's a vertical arm swing. Forget about the connection and all that. We're going to disconnect right off the ball. Up, down, like that. Okay? You will get way better, way quicker, if your body never moves and your arm swing independently in a vertical motion okay so what i want you each one of you to do right now i got a question if you don't mind yes sir you opened up your body you made the a the club face has to be open because it's got to be square to that line that you're swinging down because that's the only way you're going to have on 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 square and solid correct okay your club's always open right the club face is always open right. and i honestly serge I don't care where it's pointed as long as it's wide open. Mm -hmm. The reason I open it up is to use the bounce of the club. It has absolutely no uh, uh, determination of where the ball is going to go. If I close this club face square and hit this same shot, watch what happens. Yep. It barely even gets out of the bunker. The sand will take the club and go down into the bunker because it's digging. Okay. What I want to do is help the ball be in the air, but make sure I hit the sand. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to make sure I hit the sand here, and I'm going to help the ball in the air. So you got a little more body movement there. Yeah, land right. softly. So if you'll hit, it's not that you're hitting closer to the ball. Yeah. You're still hitting two inches behind it. You but your momentum, instead of going down, your momentum's coming up. Right. And so the sand, you're still using the bounce of the club, <clears throat> but the, the momentum of the club is carrying the ball that way, okay? So that's how you hit it. It's only in the yeah. All right, so why do you bend your knees? This is a four iron here. All right, you bend your knees so that you can get low enough and a four iron, just like a regular bucket shot. So it doesn't matter how much loft you have, yeah. all right? Same if you can get into the ball, 
and flick those wrists underneath it by taking the club head to the ball this way. See, you can add enough wall where you can shoot that ball up in the air. Okay? All right, let's get uh, Sam Wade back in there. should bend over. Okay? The eyes do not necessarily have to be right over the golf ball. You hear this, this has been a teaching thing for people so many, for so many years. This is, you know, drop a ball and make sure it hits the ball that you're looking at. But I believe the ball should actually be This was my putting ball here, and I believe that your eyes should be right, right in this area here, even maybe a little bit closer. So if I drop the ball, my eyes are actually going to hit that ball and not the one that I would be putting. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, and the reason for that, you know, is uh, when you get too far out here, or when you get right over the ball, I should say, the putter tends to go up and out. And what I actually want the putter, the ideal putt, the ideal stroke is for the putter to go slightly inside on the way back. I'm real big on path, okay? And I'm going to do some things here in a minute that are going to show you why, why path is so important. And then what we do is extend our left elbow out away from our body. And what that's going to do is port my elbows to the right of my intended target. So therefore, the path of the putter will go back on the inside, correct? We'll look something like this. The putter goes inside and then down the line. Okay? Now, if I do exactly the same thing, uh, well, let's just say if I do the opposite, if I bring my left elbow in against my side, my right elbow away from my body, watch what happens the putter goes straight back and then down the line. Okay, so this is a, the putter should go back slightly inside, square, and then down the line on a straight putt and on a right to left putt. On a left to right putt, we want the putter to go straight back, square, and then down the line. Okay, straight back, square, straight through. So we've got different putts here. This is a fairly straight putt here. I'm trying to keep you in the shade, but I'm going to get out here so you can see. So my, my setup, and I'm going to do one more thing here before we get into... Now this is ball position. If I set up this here. ball, if you'll see the ball is up in my stance. It's off my left toe here. All right, watch the difference in these three balls. All right, so this putter is going to go straight back. The ball goes there. I'm going to move the ball into here. Ball goes there. And then I'll move the ball to here. The ball goes there. So just by having one ball difference in your stance, it changes the direction of the golf ball. Now why is that? It's when you're making contact with the face and the path you're on. That's correct. Uh. Exactly correct. The path, when the ball's up in your stance, the path is going to be straighter back and the putter's going to be releasing. If this is a putter face, the putter's going to be releasing if the ball's further up. If the ball is up here, the putter would already be released this way. Right. And I'd hit it way over there. Okay? So when it's Inside my left heel, which is the, the point in which I set up to a perfect square, then the putter is going to be perfect square at impact and then release on perfect line. No, that's not line. And then when the ball is back in my stance, it goes back inside, and when it comes back, the putter face is going to be four degrees open. You're going to hit it four degrees to the right. So ball position is that important, gentlemen. Mm. Now here, let's watch this.